Hey guys, Doomer Days here again, uh, bringing you yet another video. This time, a little something a little bit different. Uh, it's not. I mean, it's 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 still a mod in its own right, I guess. But uh, anyway, it's to do with the decrypt of your game.sii file of your save game on your profile. Um, you gotta, um, a as you see on the screen here. You'll see that I created a save game right here in this profile with this number. This number is important because that's the one you need to go to if you're going to edit that particular save game or profile. So make sure you pay attention to that number. And then under the save, there'll be the same. And this is in slot number three, game.sii file. Then you'll look over here under the profile. It's going to be the same name all the way. But you're going to see one here that was auto-saved. So if you do one or the other, chances are it won't work at least that's what I ran into so you got to do both of them so basically we're, uh, this one here says it's auto saved underscore drive underscore nine so this game.sii file and this game.sii file are the two that you need to edit or change okay so make sure you pay attention to that I know this might be a little bit over somebody's head but it was the best this is the best I could come up with at least as far as the way I did it so because earlier I had done it and I only did it where I saved my game at so when I went back into the game and looked at it there was no changes so when I went back and since I changed the slot 3 all I did was copy that file that I changed over into the auto save folder depending on which auto save so make sure you notice that whenever you uh, are saving your game that you get an auto save while you're in the game and do a normal save so that you'll know what directory uh, number you need to to edit if that makes sense sorry if I can't explain that a little bit better but this is kinda on the fly really so once you once you figure that out uh, just make sure that like I said that it's under your this profile number see it just did another auto save there see now it's auto save underscore drive because now I'm in a different area so you gotta pay really close attention to that earlier I was somewhere else and it was because I took a drive so make sure you pay attention to the auto save okay and then once it does an auto save then save your game right after that so once you've done that and you figured that much out just make sure that you know that that ID number corresponds to the auto save as well as your normal save like you hit escape and save the game yourself okay all right so anyway now we'll get on with that we'll get out of the game and then I'll show you what else you need to do once you once you go into your uh, your euro truck folder okay uh, let me see wrong folder sorry wrong folder this folder you'll go into here you'll go to your profile and then like mine earlier was was just one of these well I think it was this one and then you'll see if you'll see all your saved in your profile if it's the current one and then under your save this is one and two so mine was two and the auto save okay per se right now it's auto save uh, I think it's just auto save drive is where it is right now okay so if I wanted to modify this file I would go in here and modify this one but anyway so what you're gonna do once you figure which save you're in then you're gonna go into that save now keep in mind that you have to edit this twice because or edit it once and then just copy it over into the other folder so so basically my normal save is in here okay this is my normal save I believe and then under auto save you'll have this okay so you'll have two of them to edit if that makes any sense I know it's a little bit confusing and I apologize for that but this is the best way that I can explain it as to how I did it so what you're going to do with your auto save as you see in game and then you say your your actual save game will tell you what slot or number or whatever it saved it in okay so and just make sure you're not on a job or anything like that just just you're not even hauling at the moment just just do it that way it makes it easier 
Okay, so once you once you figure out, so let's say that mine was in the autosave. Okay, so now I'm going to take this file and I'm going to copy it. Okay, I'm going to copy it. Okay, and then I'm going to put it right over here inside of the decrypt folder, which is where I just extracted decrypt and the release of that save game editor that I'm going to show you here in a minute and then the decrypt file so all I did was copy the save game right here now I'm going to edit this file okay so what you're going to do is you're going to open up the folder that you put your uh, your save game thing in which is your saved editor and you're going to open this program okay We'll minimize this to make less clutter and then we'll open up and then I ran the GUI 64 because I'm running in 64 bit it also has command command line as well as 32 bit as well so depending on which one you're running or working with just make sure you execute the proper one and then go to decrypt and it's going to open up this little window we'll go ahead and minimize that okay now these two programs right here I'm running from the decrypt which is this and the release of the save game editor which is this window here okay and those right these two programs right here can be found right here I'll provide the links in the description below so you go over here here's the decrypt it's on the forums scssoft.com's uh, website uh, you just go down here and then uh, you can read about it and you know get a better understanding and other things that you might want to do or use with it uh, program download uh, you can come right down here and just I just clicked right here and downloaded it okay so it says download right here or right here it says complete release contains all available builds you can also download here or you can download it you can also download the the library files if needed but right here it was created on 11 3 of 2018 it also has the source code there is support and other things uh, do not use this down here uh, they cannot recommend it or whatever but anyway uh, on with the program here so basically this is what the window looks like this is basically what what I'm running right there what I'm running right here it's the same same thing okay same program alright so once you once you got that done and then you've downloaded it and you've read about it and everything like that then you're gonna go over here to the ETS dot uh, LT's website download this program which is what we have running right here as you can see the window there we go okay and then you can read about it a little bit right here and it's compatible with ATS as well so you can run it with that so it's like hit open the file select your save game analyze it wait a few seconds modify the stuff you want hit apply and then success message and then done you successfully modified your save game pretty simple so you click right here and you go to the uh, link to download it once you've downloaded it uh, you can put either of the programs anywhere you like it doesn't really matter whichever program you know uh, both programs you can put wherever you know that's entirely up to you I just put them on the desktop just to make it easier so there they are both running so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here and you're going to open up the save game. So right here I've got it under uh, decrypt. So we're going to open up the save game. And then basically when you hit it, uh, I leave everything as default right here just like this. These two are checked. This one is not by default. Give it an output name. I just I just chose the same name. It says overwrite, yes. And then, and then hit start processing. Oh, well that's not good. Oh, cause I know. I, I'm sorry. I have the game running. Never mind. Sorry about that. But if the game ain't running, you won't have that issue. Sorry about that. I forgot I had the game running. So once you once you finish that, then you're gonna come over to this one and you're gonna open the file, game save, and open. 
and then analyze and it's, and then there you go and it shows you how much money you have how much experience uh, long distance high value fragile urgent economic and then uh, once you've applied the setting you can unlock all garages I haven't tried this or unlock all cities if that's what you want to do but once you're done uh, just make sure you do do a backup of your save game just in case something goes wrong or just do it and play around with it on just a dummy uh, uh, profile if that's what you want to do you can do that as well that's kind of what I did just to test it so it wouldn't mess up my profile so um, anyway so uh, right here you can change your money amount just however much money you want you can change your experience you can change anything else uh, these here I think are just default uh, it says don't change I guess uh, just leave these where they are uh, by default that's what I did uh, you can come over here and look at all your garages you can come over here and look at all the cities uh, these are cities I'm assuming I've been to uh, these are visited cities that I've been in so it's pretty cool so once you made your selections and so forth you just hit apply and save and then once you apply and save uh, this didn't work because the game up here is the game up here is running so sorry about that but either way all it would have done was just process it and then you could have went into the file over here into the decrypt folder and you could open the file and you can read it as a text file instead of a bunch of garbage so it gives you the basically it just decrypts it and gives it to you in text as you can see here okay so basically I didn't change anything in this I let the program do the changing okay so basically that's what it looks like uh, once you're done uh, once you're done with the save then you're gonna take this file and you're gonna copy it okay you're gonna copy it and then you're gonna go over to your uh, to your uh, saved profile here and you're gonna copy it into your auto save I'm not going to copy it here because I already have it. So you're going to copy it into the save auto save folder, which is auto save by the game. And then in slot number two, since auto save is saved by the game by default, and two is saved by me personally through the game interface. And then I'm going to copy, I'm going to right click and paste this file right in here as well. So now I've, I've saved the, the, the game.sii file in two folders of my SI, of my Euro truck simulator, if that makes sense. Sorry if I'm not explaining that right, but it's the best I could understand it. At least I got it to work like how I'm trying to explain it to you guys. Uh, still playing around with a bunch of the other stuff but either way I thought I would bring that to you just so you could see that you know that it does work uh, I have tried it it does work uh, so uh, yeah so there you go so once it's done and everything then you get out of your out of that folder and you're done in there and then you can close all of this out you can close this out then you can go back into the game and then um, you can see I just gave myself like twenty or uh, forty thousand dollars and now I have a hundred and forty five thousand dollars so you know I did have a hundred and five but I gave myself forty thousand and now I have a hundred and forty five thousand so it, it does work you know so which is pretty cool so anyway I just thought I'd bring that to you guys just so you could see what it would look like or what it you know what it does if you want to use the save game editor and uh, hopefully you enjoy if you do give it a thumbs up if not give it a thumbs down like comment subscribe uh, you know and as always guys keep on trucking and we'll catch you in the next video peace